Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I want to thank all of our new subscribers over the last couple of months for subscribing to our little YouTube channel and watching the videos. As I mentioned in the videos, if you should have any questions uh, while you're watching the video or something related to it, simply put it in the comments. It'll come to me and I will answer them as soon as I can. So thank you again. What I want to talk about today is why do light workers often have intense physical, emotional, or spiritual issues? And this is in reference to information that I got the other day, a download, which is where I get the information I get. It's a download from my higher self, not from another being or someone else. So it's coming from, from me. Uh, and what it does is relate why many of us have problems when we come here looking at it from a bigger picture because I know it can often be frustrating uh, for the light workers who have come here they say we've come here to help the planet or humanity and we end up with this problem or issue which we feel is really slowing us down and hurting us uh, but based on the information I got the other day that is necessary and that is actually why we're here so what I did is I wrote a paper on it and I'm going to go ahead and read through that paper make sure I get all the points that I wanted to cover and then if you, again, if you have any questions, just type them in the comments at the end. There are many thoughts on why the light workers are here, with most of those thoughts being along the lines of growth or development of their soul or spirit, to work on issues, either ours or our family, and to help humanity or the planet. Others relate our issues here to past karma or sin, thinking we have to pay the price or suffer for what we did in this or other lives. If any of you have read my first book, Truth Beyond the Earth of the Matrix, I have uh, chapters devoted to sin and karma, and you'll realize uh, what I think of those programs, which are just programs to keep people trapped in guilt. Most light workers know they came here to help, with some remembering they answered the earth's call for help. What often frustrates many of us is why we're having to deal with our own often intense physical, emotional, or mental issues when we came here to help. And as I mentioned, the answer is going to be found now in the big picture. I wrote in my second book and did a YouTube video. The second book is We Are the Real Body Snatchers. I wrote in my second book and did a YouTube video but when one person corrects their family issues, it corrects that issue for the entire family. It turns out, based on the information I received, that when a light worker corrects the issues here, it corrects it for all of humanity. And I'll explain how that happens here in a minute. The purpose of a light worker is to bring spiritual light, what some call a higher vibration, to this world and humanity. When a light worker has an issue with any type of addiction or mental problem or physical problems, they're here to combine their spiritual light to that matrix program in order to break that program forever. Often people with those issues, especially addictions or mental issues, are considered outcasts or failures and looked down upon and even shunned by society. Most people with those problems don't usually understand why they have those issues because they have no understanding of the spiritual world, reality, or how the matrix works. And now I'm talking to the general population. Many times they develop addictions because they're receiving spiritual light but have no idea what it is or what to do with it. If they choose to express what they're feeling to others, they're told there's something wrong with them, they're crazy, or just to take some pills, and it'll go away. Often when they have physical problems, the medical world can find nothing wrong physically. Their only answer is to give them some pills, which often leads to addictions and or damaging side effects from the medications. That leads to their depression and a questioning of their sanity, not only by themselves, but by their family and friends. Most times, the ones closest to them 
think they're lying or seeking attention. And that's because their friends and family often have no understanding of the spiritual nature of reality. They place their belief in the programs of a physical world. And when it can't find the answer, they figure the problem must be with the person's mental state. When a person with problems finally starts to seek answers in the metaphysical, spiritual world, the friends and family think they're going crazy or have joined a cult. I can't tell you how many times we've heard that. Since there usually isn't anyone to help them understand their experiences of the problems from a spiritual point of view, they can repress what they're experiencing or turn to addictions to help mask that problem. Lightworkers all know or remember that repressing or avoiding an issue only makes it worse. You know, we all know that you can't just ignore an issue, stand around, sing kumbaya all day, and think that that's going to change yourself in the world. You have to deal with the issues that you have, period. Rather than being understood or helped by society, they see how negatively they're treated which ends up making their problems worse. Addictions can be an escape mechanism rather than dealing with the underlying spiritual issues. Medicines are needed at times within this 3D reality. They can help a light worker temporarily escape the distraction of their problem and allow them to return their focus to correcting the real underlying spiritual issue. When a light worker has one or more of these problems, especially addictions, their job is to look at and work through that issue with spiritual understanding and knowledge. It's taking control of that problem instead of allowing that problem to control them. They step outside the limited physical world and reconnect to the unlimited spiritual world. They need to remember that all physical, emotional, and mental issues are spiritual based and deal with it from that point of view. That's Foxy in the background. I know one person who remembers coming here in answer to the Earth's request for help. He then got caught up in this world and forgot who he was. As a result, he became an alcoholic and was turned on and put down by the very humanity and society he came here to help. Their response and his frustration to it made his problem even worse. It wasn't until he finally met someone who'd regained their spiritual awareness that he found the support he needed to start remembering who he was and start dealing with his issues properly. He'd incarnated into a family with an alcohol problem. Like many light workers who incarnated into families with those type of issues, and many of us do, he'd forgotten why he'd done that and allowed himself to get trapped in the family problem. What I received you the other day was that he was here, same as the rest of us, to bring spiritual light into the issue program of drinking alcohol, to merge his light with that matrix program. By doing so and remembering who and what he is, he'll be able to stop drinking if he wants and completely break that cycle. Not only for himself and his family, but for everyone in the matrix that has an issue with alcohol. By going within and dealing with the spiritual reason why he's drinking, he'll be like Neo at the end of the third Matrix movie. For those who haven't seen the movie, I'll, I'll do a short recap. Agent Smith, who used to work for and be an enforcer within the AI Matrix system, somehow escaped and was able to disconnect from the system yet still operate within the system. He'd then taken over or infected every other person that was still connected to the matrix. He made them a copy of him. Thus, he took control of the matrix from the AI. At the end, Neo, who was the human hero, made it to the machine city and said he'd help the AI system regain control over Smith before Smith came after the AI system. In exchange, he wanted peace between the AI system and humans who'd escaped from the matrix. Hello, Foxy. The AI 
hooked up to Neo and again made him a part of the Matrix system. He then had a final battle with Smith, who wanted to take over Neo as well to uh, absorb his body. Is what that's what he wanted to do with Neo because Neo was one of the the strong characters. So he wanted to take over his body like he's done everyone else. So Smith, who had separated from the Matrix system, he won, and he turns Neo into a copy of him. Once that happened, Smith was reconnected to the AI system through Neo which then sent a virus into Neo, which sent it into Smith and all his copies. Smith was destroyed, and the AI gained free control of the Matrix, and peace reigned over the land. Everyone went back to being the characters they were within the Matrix before Smith copied over everybody. What light workers do when they remember who and what they are and deal with the issues they came here to deal with is they reconnect this Matrix system program, whatever their issue is, the mental, emotional, physical issue, they connect it back to the spiritual light. The spiritual light can then move through them to destroy or reprogram that program like A.I. Smith destroyed Smith through Neo with his virus. That's our purpose, is to reconnect this matrix system, the problems and issues and programs of this matrix system to reconnect it back to the spiritual light and allow it to be changed. That is a lot role of a light worker. In the case, in the case of the alcoholic light worker, that energy will spread to everyone who drinks, and they'll start looking for the reason that they drink, and allowing them to stop. They'll start looking at it from a spiritual perspective because the light will now allow to become through into them as well. It should even help to be able to remove the harmful side effects of excess drinking and even more harmful stigma from society about those that drink or have addictions. Opioids are another good example. They're great for helping people deal with pain and live a somewhat normal life. But the side effects and withdrawals can destroy a person. If light workers with an opioid or other pill addiction focus on dealing with that problem, the way society tells them, that which society tells them you have a disease, it's not your fault, you're a victim, you need to ask God for help because you can't do it alone, they'll stay within that matrix program and they'll make no changes for themselves or anyone else. In other words, that light will not reconnect to that program, to the source again, and to change it. I know a light worker who uses opioids because doctors say there's nothing they can do to help them other than give them pills. The pills help, but they understand <clears throat> they understand the normal consequences of using them. What they've been working on by bringing in the spiritual light and by understanding it from a spiritual perspective is they've been able to eliminate almost all of the withdrawal or side effects from the pills if they happen to run out of the pills before the renewal time. They're using their spiritual energy to work on having the pills help people without them having to deal with the side effects, addictions, or withdrawals that normally come from them. In other words, they're working on, through their spiritual right, rewriting that program. Because the, the, remember, everything has a vibration, including the pills, the alcohol, whatever it is you have. Everything is a vibration, and by bringing the spiritual light in to that problem through ourselves, we're able to rewrite, to change that vibration so that it becomes something that's not going to be harmful in that respect. Uh, so it, it, uh, it's also going to help bring spiritual connection awareness to those that think anyone that doctors can't help must be lying or seeking attention, sympathy from others. It's going to help change that mindset as well, that stigma, as I mentioned. They know their physical issues are from spiritual causes. So understand and accept the reason why they have pain for now. They know when enough light has entered, been entered that matrix program, the pain will disappear, and so will the need for those medications. So remember, it's kind of a step process. We bring the light in. We change the effect, change the vibration of those type of things, and then to the point to where it won't be needed. But you have to take it in steps, unfortunately. 
Quick final conclusion. The reason light workers have come to this reality is like Neo. We're here to reconnect the matrix systems to the light so those programs can be eliminated or reprogrammed to help humanity rather than control or harm him. So light workers, if you have problems, if you're having these issues, your purpose here is to have those. Your purpose here is to bring the light through you to help correct that problem, to rewrite those programs. So we all have them. So do the best as you can, move forward, and uh, we'll all get together at some point. Thank you, everyone.